Hi, my name's Emily Worthington. I'm from Boxwood and Brass, and I'd like to tell you about our Beethoven Transformed project. Beethoven Transformed has been a three-year project by our group to explore some of the most virtuoso and exciting arrangements of Beethoven's music that were made for harmony during his lifetime. A harmony is a wind ensemble. It usually comprises of clarinets, horns, bassoons, and sometimes also oboes and double bass. Harmony music is sometimes thought of as a kind of background music, and actually it was in the 18th century, harmony and played for balls and parties and dinners. But the kind of music we're playing isn't background music. The arrangements that were made of Beethoven's music were really made for virtuoso musicians who wanted to showcase their talent, their virtuosity and their musicality to what was a growing concert audience in early 19th century Vienna. The pieces we've recorded on our CDs include a world premiere of Carl Cherney's version of Beethoven's Septet, which is originally for wind and strings. Cherney was a pupil and um, assistant to Beethoven, and he made this arrangement from Beethoven's own manuscript. We've also recorded for the first time on period instruments a beautiful harmony based on the Sonata Pathétique, which was made by an anonymous arranger and issued by Beethoven's own publisher. Because we really wanted to understand how these kind of harmony arrangements came about, our bassoon player Robert Percival made one just for us. He took the Egmont Overture, which was arranged by Friedrich Starker in 1810 for harmony, and he created a suite of the incidental music. Finally, our project also includes the big daddy of harmony arrangements, which is Beethoven's Seventh Symphony. This incredibly difficult and virtuoso and exciting, powerful harmony, which lasts for nearly 40 minutes, is a version of the symphony that was issued by Beethoven's own publisher, so certainly with his knowledge, and it actually was published at the same time as the orchestral score and parts, so the real version. Um, this can only have been intended as a concert piece, it can't possibly have been background music, not least because it's so difficult to play and so exhausting for the players. Um, and we're really proud to have been able to bring this to life and really create our own version of the symphony. less performed and studied and talked about than the string quartet, than the symphony, than the operas that were being written at this time. Whereas in fact these players were the most incredible musicians and they were simply taking this music and they were turning it into a vehicle for their own artistry. We think it's really important to bring this music back to life, in many cases for the first time in 200 years, so that we can really better understand the musical culture of Beethoven's time and through that also really better understand this repertoire that we've been left with. We really hope that you enjoy listening to our Beethoven Transformed recordings. If you'd like to support this project, then please do follow the links below where you can learn more about our crowdfunding campaign and how you can also get your hands on copies of the CDs. Thank you very much for listening.